Hello everyone, my name is Zan Gimere and today I am going to be reciting chapter 5 of the book called Who Was Word Dal written by Drew Kelly and illustrated by Stephen Marcheski. So let's continue. Chapter 5 America After the danger of war, Roald rested quietly at home in the country. Even though he didn't have much money, he started collecting art and antiques. In 1941, the U.S. entered the war to help the Allies, Great Britain, France, and in time, Russia. Rolf took a job in Washington, D.C., at the British Embassy. In his Royal Air Force uniform, he was every inch a charming and a handsome war hero. He went to many fancy Washington parties. He met interesting and glamorous people. Rolf became friends with author Ian Fleming, who wrote the James Bond books. He sparred in the boxing ring with Ernest Hemingway. He played poker with Harry Truman, who became president in 1945. America and Britain were friends. Even so, Roald kept his eyes open for information and secrets he could pass on to the British government. Some people said he was a spy. Although popular, Roald was known for starting nasty arguments. At parties, he seemed to like making people angry. Why did he act this way? Part of the reason may have been the pain from his war injuries. In 1945 alone, he had several back surgeries. He had to stay in bed for months, and he kept having terrible headaches. It was during this time that Roald Dahl started writing for magazines. It happened in a surprising way. A magazine reporter was sent to do an article on Roald's fighter pilot days. Instead, Roald wrote an account himself and sent it to the reporter. Roald's Art Collection Roald Dahl loved paintings by French Impressionists. There were a group of painters who started painting in the late 1800s. Their paintings captured a glimpse of impression of a scene. When Roald sold a story, he would immediately buy a painting. Then he might have to sell the painting to get by until he sold another story. He said that paintings by Mathis Ronald Cézanne, Renaud, Degas, and Sisley decorated my walls for brief periods in the 40s. He collected and loved art all his life. Did you know you are a writer? The reporter asked Roald. Soon Roald's piece appeared in the magazine. It was the first time that Roald was paid for his writing. He wrote 16 more stories for the magazine. Later the stories came up as a book over to you. Walt Disney heard about this war hero who wrote stories. He invited Roald to Hollywood. They talked about making a movie. It didn't work out. But a script about gremlins in airplanes was turned into a book. His first very children's book. It was called The Gremlins, a Royal Air Force story by Fight Lieutenant Roald Dahl. President Roosevelt's wife, Eleanor, read it to her grandchildren. She liked the book so much she invited Roald to the White House. By the end of summer in 1945, the war was finally over. Roald had had enough adventure. Even though he had been living in a world of wealth and glamour, he just wanted to go home and be a writer. England had suffered during the war. Roald was shocked to see the bombed out buildings, roads and bridges. There was food and fuel shortages, crime and unemployment. Even so, Roald is very glad to be back with his family. That's all for today. Thank you for listening. Thank you.